Good morning, colleagues. My name is Gagarina Nadezhda, and today I will tell you can a well-developed brain make us happier? Recent research findings show an alarming increase in the number of people with depression. According to the World Health Organization, mood disorders are projected to be the second most common disease in the world by 2020. Scientists conducted a study at the University of North Florida, where 2,000 participants underwent a comprehensive mental health assessment, including how developed the brain was, tests for active memory, thinking, attitude, and future expectations. The study led to three important conclusions. The first. Age partially explained the optimistic attitude. Young participants showed higher rates on the pessimism scale. It is suggested that with age, we more effectively overcome our fears and avoid less risk in the future. The second, it is choice of expectations and attitudes. Almost 85% of participants with mood disorders negatively relate to their future. Their default point of view is, if something can go wrong, it will go wrong, and I don't expect what will happen the way I would like. And the third, it is the role of active memory. Scientists suggest that people with well-developed memory are able to pay more attention to optimistic results and allow fewer negative thoughts. This explains their high rates of personal well-being. Whereby the ancient instinct of fight or run away, which makes us overestimate danger and expect more negative results, our ability to resist these pattern settings and control our fears gives us freedom of choice and supports the pursuit of happiness in us. Thank you for your attention.